solve system of linear equations using matrix method. 2x plus y plus z is equal to 1. x minus 2y minus z is equal to 3 upon 2. And 3y minus 5z is equal to 9. The third equation, there is no coefficient of x, so we can take 0x plus 3y minus 5z is equal to 9. And hence the given system of equation, we can write is the coefficients of x, y, z as 2, 1 and 1 in the first equation. And in the second equation, the coefficient of x, y, z as 1, minus 2 and min, minus 1. And the third equation, the coefficient of x, y, z is 0, 3 and negative 5. And the variable matrix we can write here, x, y, z, the column matrix, which is equal to the constant matrix is column matrix 1, 3 by 2 and 9. So, which is in the form of ax is equal to b. So, we can write this is ax is equal to b. And we know that in matrix method, when determinant of A is not equal to 0, so we can say the system is having unique solution. And we have x is equal to A inverse into B, that is 1 by delta A into adjoint of A into B. Let's find the determinant of matrix. Det A is equal to determinant of 2, 1 and 1, 1, minus 2 and minus 1. 0, 3 and negative 5 which is equal to the 2 times of minus 2 into minus 5 is 10 minus of minus plus 3 negative 1 time of 1 into negative 5 is negative 5 minus 0 and plus 1 times of 3 into 1 3 and 0 so we can say right here 10 plus 3 13 2 is a 26 plus 5 plus 3 that is 31 plus 3, 34, which is not equal to 0. So, if it is not equal to 0, we have x is equal to a inverse into b. Inverse exists and have unique solution. So, we can say the given system is having unique solution. And now, let us find the adjoint of matrix. Adjoint of a matrix is transpose of the cofactor matrix. cofactor matrix of A and its transpose. So, we can write here and let us find the cofactors matrix by using the shortcut method by taking the second row, second column elements starting with from the coefficient matrix say minus 2, minus 1, second row, second column, minus 2, minus 1, 1, and again with minus 2, and coming to the third, 3, negative 5, 0, and 3, and again the first row, 1, 1, 2, and again 1, and then again back to the second row, minus 2, minus 1, 1, and negative 2, so, we can write here minus 2 into 5, minus 2 into minus 5 is 10, 10 plus 3 that is 13 and minus 1 into 0 is 0, 0 minus of minus 5 that is plus 5 and 3 minus 0. So, we can write here 3 and next 3 ones are 3 plus 5 it is 8 and negative 5 into 2 is negative 10. And here 0 into 1, 0, minus 2 into 3, 6, minus 6. And here 1 into negative 1 is negative 1, plus 2, that's 1. And 1 into 1, 1, plus 2, that's 3. And 2 into negative 2 is negative 4, and minus 1, that's negative 5. The whole transpose, which is equal to, so we can write 13, 8, 1, 5, negative 10, and 3 and 3, negative 6 and negative 5. So, this is adjoint of a matrix. And now, let us find x value. x is equal to a inverse into b. So, x is equal to a inverse 
that is 1 by data into adjoint of A into the constant matrix B which is equal to 1 by 34 and adjoint of a matrix is 13, 8, 1, 5, negative 10 and 3, 3, negative 6 and negative 5 is multiplied with constant matrix that is 1, 3 by 2 and 9 which is equal to so 1 upon 34 times a row with column 13 into 1 13 plus 8 into 3 by 2 is 12 plus 1 into 9 is 9 and similarly the second row with first column 5 into 1 5 negative 10 into 3 by 2 is negative 15 and plus 3 into 9 is 27 and next to 3 into 1 is 3 minus 6 into 3 by 2 is negative 9 and plus negative 5 into 5 is negative 45 which is equal to 1 upon 34 times 13 plus 12 25 plus 9 34 and 5 minus 10 is negative 10 plus 27 that is 27 minus 10 it's a 17 and next 3 minus 9 it's negative 6 and negative 45 so we can say negative 51 So, which is equal to 34 upon 34, 17 upon 34, and negative 51 upon 34, which is 1, 1 upon 2, <coughs> and here we can write. Seventeen three times and seventeen two times. So negative three by two. So we can write the variable matrix x y z is equal to we got it one one by two negative three by two. Hence the solution for the given system is x is equal to one y is equal to one by two and z is equal to negative 3 by 2 okay thank you